Okay, on this video we're going to see and show how to download JGrasp. And so the first thing that we need to do in order to download JGrasp is we need to open or we need to download JDK. And so, um, which is a Java developmental kit. So we are going to type JDK in Google. And go ahead and select the Developmental Kit 8 link. And in here, we want to do the uh, Java Kit 72. And what we need to do is click on the Accept License Agreement. So make sure you're on the 8U72. And then click on the Accept License Agreement. The next thing that we need to do is we need to pick our operating system here on the left. Um, if you are in a Windows machine, then what you need to do is go down to the Start button and then right click on Computer and choose Properties. So once again, Start, right click on Computer, Properties. And in this you'll see the system type right here which is in this case is a 64-bit operating system. Alright, so we're going to go over here and we're going to use the Windows 64 and click on this link. If you have a Windows 32-bit, then you're going to do a Windows 86, which I don't know why that is. You'll use this link, the one with the 86. If you are on a Mac, then you're going to pick the Mac OS times times 64. Click on that uh, link. All right. So I'm going to be I'm in Windows 64 bit, so I'm going to click on this link. Down here at the lower left, it is uh, downloading the application so it can be. Uh, be run to set up. So I'm going to click on pause right now while it's doing that. Okay, if you're, uh, if this is still downloading here, um, there's still time left, make sure you you should pause because I'm going to move on. You want to wait until, you don't want to do this part that we're going to do now unless this is finished downloading. So now that it's downloaded, we want to click on this arrow and say open. Now, in my case, I have to type in a administrator password. You may not have to. And then it's going to go through the preparing to install. And all you got to do here is click on next. And then click, there's nothing to change here, is click on next. And now, it's going to go through the installment process. I am going to click on pause. So you should do the same. Uh, you will. Uh, you can start this back up once you have finished uh, this next phase. All right. Uh, you should be up to this point by now. And at this point, typically there's nothing to change here unless you really have a reason for changing anything, so you just click on Next. And now it's going to go through some more process here. At this point, I'm going to pause my recording until this part finishes. All right, so now you should be up to this point. It says that it's been uh, su successfully installed. Um, so now we can go ahead and click on Close. The next thing that we need to do now is download JGrasp itself. 
So we're going to go to Google, type in uh, JGrasp download. And then click on uh, click on JGrasp homepage. And, and then on this page, we're going to go over on to the right and click on download JGrasp. So over here on the right. On this page right here. Um, there, you don't really have to fill out anything. If you want to fill out this survey, you can. You don't have to. And so we, we'll go down here to where we're going to get to download. Uh, let's skip the beta version. Uh, we're going to go down to the 2.01, uh, 2.0.1 version. And we're going to uh, make sure that we pick the correct download. So either if it's Windows, if you have Windows, you take, pick this first one. If you have a Mac, then choose the one that says package on it. So I'm in Windows, so I'm going to click on this. And here again, uh, we have the download happening in the lower left. So I'm going to pause the video until this part's done. Okay, it's been downloaded, so we can just click on this arrow and click on open. In my case, again, I need to type in, I need to get a supervisor thing in here. All right, set up wizard, we're just going to click on next. Uh, basically, you can just click on I agree. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just keep the standard uh, type of install. Click on Next. And typically here, unless you have a reason, you know what you're doing, you want to change the destination folder. You know, unless you're doing that, you should just go ahead and keep it the same. Click on Next. And now here, um, let's see. So on this, you really don't have to click on any of these. Just again, just click on Next. And again, just do an install here. There's nothing really to adjust. And so it goes to the installing. And now it has been installed. Click on Finish.